To use phpMyAdmin to restore the existing databases from the backups you made earlier, do the following. Open phpMyAdmin, that's localhost forward slash phpMyAdmin, in your browser. Click Import at the top of the page. Click on the Browse button and find the import file. I made a backup of a database named Demos in the file demosbackup.sql, so I'll select that. Make sure that the file format is set as SQL. And click the Go button. Even for a very small file, this one was only 16k, the import takes an extremely long time, so I'll speed up the video until it's finished. You should get the message, Import has been successfully finished. On the left you should see the database listed. If you click on the plus sign you should see all the tables in the database. And if you click on a table you should be able to see that the data has been successfully imported. This is a tiny database with only a few lines of data. If you have a large database file you may get a message that it's too large for phpMyAdmin to import, or you may get a message that it took too long to complete. Let's see this happen. I'll try to import this SQL file, which as you can see is over 100 megabytes. And phpMyAdmin gives me error messages, saying that the file is too large. To solve this, open the XAMPP control panel and stop Apache. Click on the config button and open php.ini in your text editor. And search for the entry post max size, post underscore max underscore size. This is set at 8 megabytes, 8M by default. Change it to something larger than your database file, for instance 256M. Then find upload max file size, that's upload underscore max underscore file size. This is set at 2 megabytes by default, which is far too small. Again, change it to 256M. To avoid the error saying that the maximum execution time has been exceeded, find max execution time, that's max underscore execution underscore time, which is set at 30 seconds by default, to increase that value. I'll set it to 60 seconds, which should be enough for normal use. If you're having problems, you can set it to zero, which disables it altogether. But if you set it too high or to zero, then your server performance may suffer, so you should set it back to 30 or 60 seconds once the import's completed. Then save php.ini, close that, restart Apache, go back to PHP my admin and click import and browse for the file again and this time it should import with no problem. Although with a file this size it's extremely slow so I'm going to cut out the next bit of video until it's imported successfully. That's how to restore databases using import in phpMyAdmin but as you can see it takes a lot of time and it isn't that happy with large files. For large files, the MySQL command line's better, so I'll delete those two databases and demonstrate how to do the same thing on the command line so that file size isn't an issue.